night before the ham fest and I'm all packed and ready to eat. What? There's just a backpack. Where are my clothes? That's right. The ham fest is local this time and I am going to be driving over. So let's go. It is ham fest time. And like I said before in the intro, I don't have to pack. I don't have to get all the electronics ready. I'm not going to a field day event. It is just ham fest time. And it is this time in the DFW area. We're heading up to Louisville for the DFW Ham Expo. This expo has been going on for two or three years now. And this is the first time I'm gonna be attending. There's an outdoor swap meet area along with vendor floor area. I hear HRO is probably gonna be the only major vendor, but I'm hoping to see MTC and also uh, ABR since you know they're Texas based. <laughs> Don't know if we can see it, but Great Fun Mills is over there. Here we are. We're at the Vista Ridge Mall or the Louisville Mall or also known as the Grant Music Mall. <laughs> nope, that doesn't look like them. That's more like it. That's a ham fest swap me. And antennas and antennas and antennas. We got it. As always, we're going to do a quick antenna walk to see what type of antennas people are sporting on their trucks. And this is the first one here. He got an antenna here mounted in the back of his truck with a giant uh, coil, loading coil right there. And then a, like a six foot whip on top. Very nice. A nice trunk mount antenna on the side there. I really do like that. And there is the famous KC5 HWB mobile. We are gonna be riding in that on the Yellowstone trip coming up next month. Here we go. We got a ham stick mounted to the um, front grill there. Nice. And this is gonna be our first porcupine. We got one, two, three, four antennas at the top there. I like how they're arranged in a box pattern. It's like a long whip for HF and then a ham stick. Very nice. Of course, an Artos. There they are. This gentleman must be parking in a parking garage because he has the swivels for his antennas. So he can go ahead and lay those flat down on the roof if he's parking in a garage or a parking garage. So those are very handy to have. And we have this little short stubby antenna. I guess it does make sense to have that on a Tesla. I didn't know Tesla's had enough metal for a magnet antenna or a magnet mount to work. This GMC has it mounted like I had on the CRV. I do like that. Oh, and it's also a diamond antenna. Very nice. Back when I had the Honda CRV, I had an antenna mount like that on the side of the CRV, and it worked great. It worked great. The only problem was it did wear off the paint and a lot of the plastic on the back end. So when I sold it, it had a little notch where it was mounted. Every time it closed, it just rubbed it a little bit more. He has a loaded coil here that's hooked up to his um, tow hitch. I like that. Look at this Dodge Ram. At the top, he has five, six different antennas with, a, I believe, an RTOS there in the middle and then another antenna on the back. Jeez. Now, this is the Dodge. <laughs> I like it. We got two antennas on the front. Looks like some caution orange lighting. And then three, two on the trunk and two on the roof. Like it, like it, like it. Oh, then it looks like there's a cap also. Got an additional one in the middle. I saw this on the way out. It is a cyber truck. What is going on? <laughs> and a beautiful, and he has a ham antenna. I didn't know these were so big. Wow, that's awesome. And it's swap meet time. We're gonna go ahead and take a look through the swap meet areas to see what we can see. See if we can find some boat anchors and um, see what else we can see. You never know who you're gonna run into here. We got Robert, we got Don, Don leader for the Don Army. <laughs> look at all those tubes. Look at that Motorola, love it. That was a jank eponymous for $75. I, no, no, I'm done with those. I'm done with them. I do not want to touch them again. I'm trying to find the next uh, system that's going to be the awesome one. So stay tuned. I see some 300 for $950. A little high in my opinion. That's how you do the swap meet area in Texas. Get some shade, especially it's going to be about 95 plus today. Ooh. 
nice and AC. You gotta have that in here in Texas. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to find the ham fest and uh, see what we can find. Here we go, some pre-ham fest festivities. Yeah, ooh, it rolls, it massages, yeah. Alrighty then, it's ham fest time. Over here at the DFW ham fest, there are two, two um, buildings, rooms, rooms um, that the ham fest is spread out. We're gonna go ahead and check out room two because room one is pretty packed and I'm gonna take the uh, sneak peek in a quieter room over here. Starting off here in room two, HRO is one of the vendors that they have here at the um, Hamfest. Just briefly talking to them, they got a little bit of sales on list about everything they're selling today. And uh, go ahead and swing by and say hello. Yeah. Look at all these books. Nice. You got some nice radios here. More decently priced uh, IC7300. Sun SDR with computer, 950. That's an interesting deal right there. There we are, some nice boat anchors. I'm glad I've finally found them. Mass rent, master rent, mass antenna. Just look at this. They're selling great grounding wires along with a bunch of connectors and pulleys for your, all your guiding needs. Talking to the gentleman there, his cord is more um, UV resistant and doesn't reflect any of the HF back or RF back into the antenna. Uh, unlike paracord, it's gonna hold up better than um, it weathering just outside. So that's why you should try to film. Here we go, we're gonna be entering building number one and the first thing we see and we come into the building, fox hunt frequency, if I knew that, I would have brought in a um, HT and a uh, Yagi antenna to find it. And here we are in room number one. It is a much larger room than room two. Let's go ahead and do a quick walk around. Plus, um, I need to get my tickets to the raffle. Hello! Are you gonna do all the lovely drawings? <laughs> Looks like we have a couple of old surplus military radios here. I love seeing these. One day I'll have enough money to buy some. I just saw this, but this radio is in Chinese. So cool, and the complimentary one over here. That's super unique, oh my God. Then we have an array of solar panels. And at the front up here, we got the ham stop. Number of booths wide. This is Scott, there he is. This is Scott's booth, who runs the Ham Radio Go Kit Challenge. Got a couple more Jank upon this is Evolve laptops also. Nice. And the testing service here is done by W5YI. Getting new amateur radio operators on the air over here and um, upgrading those licenses. Yeah. There is the infamous Jason. I'm just uh, repaying the shot for shot he gave me a second ago. Oh. That is the Outback. Yeah, that's the Outback. Oh, that's, that's very rare to see one of those. I have enough cash in my hand. Uh huh. Some guy bought it. I'm are, like, okay, that's fine. I don't are we live streaming? Yeah, we're live streaming. It's stream. better. There we go. Look, look at that gimbal he has in mine. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. That looks so cool. Talking to Ken over there about these quick connects, they're really great to have. He's saying these are the great backup to have in your Go box or a, your Poda kit. So if you have any issues with your power pole connectors, you can take those out and just go straight to the wire and connect these up and be back on the air. I think that's a great idea. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick up one and uh, see how it fares. Fair. Interesting antennas here by Antenna Palace. It looks like these are copper pipe antennas, J poles. Then a small 70 centimeter Slim Jim. We got AMSAT showing up here, very nice. They have a lot of their displays. What we have here is an example of the CubeSats they have up in space. And then they have another one that's 3D printed, very nice. And a, a program showing where all the amateur radio satellites are currently running. AMSAT is a great organization that um, promotes the uh, satellites that have amateur radio repeaters on there. And um, they do a lot to uh, support the youth on the air programs. So a uh, great, great organization. And here we have Club Row. We start with the Mars, then we got the Richardson Wireless Club, and then we have, then we got the Denton County Club, and then the Lark Club. Hi! Yeah. 
And then the Garland Club. Very nice, support your local clubs. And I really, really, really uh, recommend you to go out and uh, join a local club because they help you set up your radios, answer a lot of good questions. Just search your city in Amateur Radio Club and I'm gonna bet you dimes to dollars, unless you're in a rural area, there's a radio club out there for you. Well, that's it, that's gonna be it for the DFW Ham Expo. Compared to Houston, I think the indoor space is equivalent or a little larger. The outdoor swap meet here is larger than the uh, swap meet space they have down at Houston. But this is only the third time they had their ham fest here. Um, next year, it might be at another location where they have more floor space, and I hope to see more vendors coming out next year. But um, it's been great hanging out with y'all, great being hanging out here at the DFW Ham Expo, and as always, y'all, Thank you for watching and go forth and conquer. I found it. I found Cinderella's glass slipper. I can fit it. I can fit in it. As always, ooh, look at that sun. That's bright. See if we can find some old boat hanger. See if we can find some old boat anchors. There's that word. Go ahead and swing by and say hello. Well, this is posted Monday, so just say hello through the YouTube. <laughs> I love it. I, I love it. I was trying to give you a ears. <laughs> I love it. How are you? I am wonderful. Kilo 5 Lima Lima Echo, Leslie. Leslie, nice to meet you. And now we're going to be, hey, nice how's it going? Videos, Thank hey, you, you very much. I love it. I love it. Keep doing it.